Uh, hello, my name is Ryan. Uh, this is my first time in China, Shanghai, and I've just come from uh, Thailand, so I don't know what to expect, but I'm really looking forward to it. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a friend here from the UK who's just touched down in mainland China for the first time. Last year, he lived in Taiwan, so I'm going to introduce him to a couple of sites and get his opinion on a couple of things. Because compared to Taiwan, the, the people were kind of quiet, maybe a bit shy. But uh, I noticed, like the first thing I noticed in China, or in Shanghai, is that the people are a lot more outgoing. And it's, uh, it's quite nice, a lot, a lot more loud, friendly, quite funny as well. Okay, so Ryan, what are your first thoughts on the road that we're on now? This is called Nanjing Road, and it's one of the most famous roads in the whole of China. What are your thoughts on it? Oh, it's great. It's really interesting. Uh, lots of people, lots of nice so shops, and uh, you know, very clean as well. It's quite nice. It, it reminds me a, a tiny bit of New York. Um, that might be stupid, but it, it looks a bit like what I imagine that would be like. We're going to head over to the Bun, so we're going to walk the whole of Nanjing Road and then we're going to head over to the Bun and it's going to be Ryan's first time seeing the Bun. I wish it was my first time seeing the Bun. Uh, Taipei. Like the oh, main in city. Taipei. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. But before that I was in uh, Linko. Linko okay. is like a little suburb, kind of like, well, another district outside the main city. So what did you find, what did you think about tai, Taipei? Just, just in general? Uh, I, I liked it. I mean, the people are nice. It's very green. It's quite a, a very green city. Yeah. But uh, it's very humid. I actually think it's, in my experience, more humid there than it is here. But I mean, it's fun, but you know, it, it's a bit, for me, it's a bit small. It's a bit small. There's not a lot you can do. But, yeah. Yeah. What were the prices like? Was it expensive to, expensive oh, it, to it's live more, there? It, more expensive in Taipei. Yeah. Where, in my experience, yeah, way more expensive. But, like I said, I, I was shocked at the price of coffee here. It's absolutely mm. insane. Um, How much was your coffee this morning? It's a uh, 13. 13, 13 RMB. Yeah, RMB. Yeah, it's insane. Interesting. I'm so shocked because, like I said, when you look around and you see the, the nature of the city and, and how developed it is. I couldn't believe that the price was so cheap compared to, you know, everything else. Yeah. So, from what we've seen so far, do you think this, this street is busy? Or? Uh, yeah, it's quite busy. I imagine it gets busier at oh, points, I, but right now, it's it's, uh, yeah, it is very busy. So, um, bustle. So we're just going to take a quick excursion because Ryan here has never been to a shopping mall in China or in Shanghai before. So we're just going to pop inside and get his reaction on it. Yeah. I imagine this is going to be like times 10. I think this is just um, like mostly like makeup. So, what's your reaction to this shopping mall, Ryan? Oh, it's huge. It's insane. Like, the, the scale of it is insane. It really surprised me, especially how, how high it goes. Yeah, it's a pretty nice one. I mean, they're not all like this, but this one is it's a pretty nice one. Compare this to um, a shopping mall in, like, the UK, for example. What would you say is different oh, about this? I'd say the UK ones, uh, the ones I experienced anyway, uh, maybe in London you get big ones, but usually they're smaller from my experience, and uh, they're not quite as impressive, they're not quite as grand, you know, they're, they're a bit more run down as well. Mm. Oh, this is insane. Definitely a lot more run down, that's for sure. Oh. No, this is insane. So what was that when, um, before you came here, people were yeah, about the negatives. I, yeah, I mean, a lot of people talk about the, the social media blocks or whatever, but uh, no, I, I don't get that is insane. Like, this view is, is crazy. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. So, Ryan is about to see the bun for the first time. I remember when I saw the bun for the first time, absolutely unreal. My favorite place in China for sure. That to me is more impressive than the uh, the Taipei 101. What the pearl? The yeah, yeah, yeah. Pearl. Like, it, I don't know, it just looks cooler. It's, it's dangerous. It's pretty insane, uh, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, so that's the pearl, and then that's the financial tower, and that's Shanghai Tower. 
Now that is hands down the best skyline I think I've ever seen. <laughs> and you're telling me I haven't even seen all of it. It's insane. That is crazy. Let's get closer. So we've just finished on Nanjing Road. We're going to cross the road onto the Bund. Take a look at the Bund. Today is very, very busy. A lot busier than I thought it was going to be. So we'll go check it out. Quite like, it's quite futuristic. Yeah. It looks yeah, like yeah. something out of a sci fi movie. It's unique as well. I mean, it's so different. So good. The river's really nice as well. Yeah. Oh my god, it's goes on for so long. Yeah, it's huge, mate. It's absolutely huge. Wow. It goes all the way around there. That's North Bund, and then down there, yeah. South Bund. Wow. That that is something else. It's pretty cool. It's so big. It's just absolutely huge. Oh, it's so nice, yeah. So yeah, in terms of reasons why I think China's a better option for, uh, for, for work, is one, the development level, two, the opportunity, and three, just the, like, the scale of the country, it's so big, and I feel like uh, the opportunity for travel is, is so much better than other parts in Asia. Like, uh, you could go up north to, to Harbin, where it's like freezing cold, right? You're in a completely different climate. And then, you know, go right down south for it. It's warm and nice. So, I mean, yeah, it's such an interesting country. It's like a continent. It's, yeah, um, yeah, exactly. So diverse and the landscapes are all so different. You've got like deserts, you've got cities that are just like ice. You've got mountains. Yeah. You've got beaches. There's Hainan, Sanya, some of the nicest beaches in the world. Um, but yeah, China really does have it all, to be honest. So, before you came to China, did you... Um, how much did you really know about it and how many like how many of the Chinese cities had you heard of? Well, I had like a, a rough idea from places on the internet, but I also I have some friends that are Chinese uh, from university and they told me about some of the cities and I, I might actually visit them later in the year. But uh, one which of the ones is, which ones are you most wanting to visit? Oh, Chongqing. Mm, Chongqing's Chongqing. a big one. Uh, I don't know if it's is it Chengdu? Chengdu, Chengdu also, yeah. yeah. And also, sorry, uh, there's areas not, I think, Tibet? Tibet mm -hmm. is within yeah. China. Yeah, that's, that's one place I really want to go. So, you know, I, yeah, I, I can't wait to see all these places. There's some really, really cool places. That's it for this video, guys. Ryan is here for the foreseeable future. So, as his time progresses here, I will get his views and opinion on life here and see if it's any different to what he's used to living in Taipei. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.